Hey guys, had a spike you with another custom minifigure video today for you. This is kind of a spoiler alert, so if you haven't seen the latest episode of Ahsoka, which is I believe season one, episode six, whichever is the latest one that just came out today, then don't watch this video because this is a minor spoiler. Um, this episode, for those of you who have watched it, oh my gosh, was it amazing. This is definitely my favorite one by far so far. I love this episode. I love seeing Hayden Christensen come back again and, like, talking with Ahsoka and, like, going over, like, all these other, like, lessons and stuff. And, like, the flashbacks where we see out the young Ahsoka in live action for the first time. That actress did an amazing job. Um, well done on her. And we have to see uh, Captain Rex again with uh, Tamara Morrison voicing him this time, which was super cool. I loved hearing him. I hope we get to have more of him. It wasn't enough. <laughs> One of that one scene when he was like running away from the Mandalorians they were fighting. Um, but yeah, there's this one part in the episode at the end when Ahsoka was communicating with uh, Purgle before she blasts off into space with them. And in that scene, she switches her outfit into this really cool white outfit which I am now going to show you how I made. So what you need is the hairpiece or headpiece I guess is actually from the newest version of Ahsoka which just came out a few months ago in the uh, the T6 fighter which I'm very very happy that I finally got my own. Um, it's a very cool set. Highly recommend you pick it up. It is $80 so it's a bit of an investment but man is it worth it to get the new Ahsoka and the new Sabine. Um, so yeah, you need that headpiece, because that's the most accurate drone from the TV show. The, uh, head itself is, uh, this is the most expensive Ahsoka ever. <laughs> uh, you don't have to use this head, you could just use the other newer Ahsokas, like, that have a different type of head. Like, for example, uh, this, like, this one. This is from the newest Vern, also from the T6. It's this bright orange, which you can use because it's a lot more common. And uh, it looks good, but I'm trying to, whenever I make it custom for you guys, I try to make it as accurate to the show as possible. And the way they do Rosario Dawson's makeup is uh, it's with the dark orange paint. So that's why I kind of felt like it'd be doing it a disservice to make this figure with the regular brighter orange head. That is, even though it's more common and cheaper, um, to be accurate, I wanted to use the darker orange, the burnt orange. So that's why I have that head here instead. Um, the torso is from the San Diego Comic Con Black Widow from the uh, 2020 set that came out. Well, it was supposed to be in during 2020, but because of the pandemic, people got to have that set in other means. She's a little bit hard to find, but she's not super crazy expensive. I really like the torso for her because it has the um, the gray and the white, just like we see in the show. And it has this really nifty belt, which is perfect for the uh, show, uh, for what the costume that she had. Because it even has a little circle there in the middle, which I really dig. I think that looks really, really accurate to what we saw. I just threw on a uh, white cape, like a fluffy white cape, because this looks more like it's thicker. She had the cloak that looked kind of thick. Gave her white arms and white hands. And the legs and hips piece are all from Moon Knight. From the brand new Marvel CMF series. So, um, basically, you really just need three figures. Maybe technically four if you want to get fancy with the headpiece like I did. Um, really just need three. You don't have to use this expensive headpiece. I just think it looks better. But... That is all you need to make this brand new Ahsoka. So that is going to do it for this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel if you dig this. And alrighty then, head on a spike out.